Hey party people! So today I want to talk about the seat me. Just a few quick basics, a few quick tips and tricks, and um, I have a brand new out of the box seat me and a complete here so I can kind of show you some kind of common troubleshooting things and just some general um, pointers to help you love your seat me as much as I love my seat me. So um, we also have Poor baby Lisa here today. Um, she got a latte, a decaf latte, spilled on her by my toddler. So sorry if she's looking a little rough today. She had um, quite the morning. So this is a see me, and um, this is Lilla Baby's uh, see me. All their all seasons model. It just came out this summer, and um, in the U.S. you can get this in two colors, uh, the feathers pattern and the stone. They are sold out right now on Lola Baby's website, but they are available on Amazon. Um, I actually got this one for a smoking deal on Amazon just last night. Um, thank you, Prime Shipping, but it's here. So one thing that's always really helpful, and to be totally honest, I am not a manual person, but, um, the manual is actually really helpful for this. So when you pull it out of the box, just make sure to give a re or just give it a review. Um, if you bought this secondhand and you don't have a manual, just look for it online. It is available. Um, I think it's available in the files tab on the little love page. But uh, yeah, check this out. You'll probably find it helpful. But this is a seat me. It is a hip carrier. So it has a little bit of a different structure than the complete, which is what makes it so super, super awesome. So when you get your seat me, um, you are going to unfold it. You'll see this is attached to it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off. Hope for the best. Um, okay, I'll we'll just put that on the desk for later. So this is your seat me. Uh, unlike your complete, the seat me is going to have one-way PFAs, not a huge deal. Um, something I would encourage you to do as soon as you get your seat me is loosen these up liberally. Uh, the reason I say that is because it usually really, really scares people to loosen these up. And obviously it's super easy to, tight, super easy to tighten. So make these loose. This has got to be a good 18 inches of slack that's okay. And I think that that's one of the biggest kind of problems people have with their seat knee is that they do expect it to fit like a complete. Um, this is one of my completes. And as you can see, I wear it with the straps almost all the way tight. Um, it, this is adjusted for me and these are almost touching. There's probably, I don't know, an inch, inch and a, or maybe a half inch of space between these. So this is where it's comfortable for me. Again, this is a complete and it's almost all the way tight. I usually wear um, just through one loop on my lumbar. So um, a lot of people I think think that because they wear their complete so snug that they can't possibly loosen up these straps on their seat knee. That is not the case. Um, give them a big old loosen up and that will really help you off the bat. Um, the seat knee has two waist features, uh, both Velcro and the buckle. The buckle, is it new webbing, a joy? Um, break in your webbing, sit on the couch and just slide it back and forth and you will appreciate it. Um, the buckle is your safety feature here. So another big question is, how much does this Velcro have to overlap? Um, put your Velcro together. Okay, make sure that it is touching. That is probably a quarter inch of overlap. Um, the buckle is your safety feature. So when you are buckled, this is, and you are tightened, this is keeping you safe and snug and together. Um, this Velcro is also really strong. So even with just a little bit of Velcro uh, fastened and not a huge amount of overlap, um, it's nice and snug. Again, your buckle, is your big safety feature here. So when you get this out of the box, you're going to have your panel attached, um, which is totally fine. 
leave it attached. Uh, it will come with the uh, wide seat extender in a separate bag. So for now, you can just leave that off um, and we'll get comfy uh, with just the seat, which I think is something else that's really important to know. So when you get your seat me, hold it, grab it tight. Um, and what I think is helpful for most people is if they just put their belly button in the center of the seat me. So wherever your belly button is, try and just put that in the center of your seat me. Um, it typically is just a good general rule for um, having it fit on your body. Um, okay, so it's in the middle of, of my belly button and I am cranking on this Velcro pretty hard. Um, and it's pretty tight around my waist. So after I have it Velcroed, tighten my back strap. So Velcro and um, seat me are both pretty snug. You can see it fits um, nice and flat up against my stomach. And um, if you have problems with it fitting kind of flat against your stomach, don't be afraid to put one hand on the bottom and kind of push the seat up a little bit um, to get it nice and flat against your stomach when you are putting it on. It really doesn't matter. Um, your kid's bum is going to, uh, when they put the weight on it, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap here anyway. It should be comfortable. The biggest thing about the seat me is this. Do not give up on it. Because the seat me has a built-in structured hard seat, it's really, really difficult to get an unsafe fit, right? The biggest thing about the complete is, do I have a deep seat? Do I have a shallow seat? Um, where is their bottom sitting in the panel? The seat me takes away all of that. Um, the kid is sitting on the seat. The seat is the seat. It's not deep, it's not shallow, it just, is so the biggest thing is finding where you're comfortable um, try moving it up a little more try moving it down a little bit more try putting it on a little bit loose and letting it settle try putting it on high and tight um, just try different things and i know that that's maybe not what you want to hear it's maybe not helpful it's definitely not like a hard and fast rule but Find where you can be comfortable and don't give up. If you put it on once and you're like, oh, that was so uncomfortable, I don't like the seat me. Um, don't give up, just try it again. Try higher, try lower, try tighter, try looser. Um, because as long as you have your Velcro Velcroed, your buckle buckled, and your kiddo just with their bottom safely on that seat, um, they're gonna be safe and so you just wanna be comfortable. So. We'll get baby Lisa here. Um, and we're just gonna put her bottom on here. So some different tips and tricks for getting baby comfy. The awesome thing about the seat me is that I find it to be the coolest carrier because you can get a little bit of air between you and baby. Um, in a complete, baby's obviously um, pretty snug up against you. The baby has this whole glorious, wonderful seat especially for kids who are um, comfortably sitting on their own. Um, I mean, Eldon's two and a half. I put his bottom scooched back on that seat um, and it gets a little bit of air between us. It's, he's not smushed up against me and um, because he's obviously a nice sturdy toddler, um, he's nice and safe. So um, regardless of how big or small your child is, one of my biggest tips for getting comfy with the seat me is pick up your child, put them on the seat. Do not worry about the panel. Um, don't, don't fuss with the panel. Just put their weight on the seat and uh, just feel how that feels on your waist. Feel if it's comfortable for you. Um, baby should be comfortable just on the seat. Nothing should be digging into you the whole um, waistband should be nice and comfortable for you. Um, you can see it's pretty bendy, it's pretty flexible, um, so it shouldn't be digging anywhere on you, but put that baby's weight on the seat, forward or backwards, and just feel feel their weight and feel how, um, how you might be able to make adjustments. If you are comfortable with baby and with baby's weight 
on just sitting on the hip seat, um, you should, in theory, be comfortable with your panel up. So um, the panel is going to become less of an issue if you can get comfy here first. We have um, an entire seat me dedicated to our kitchen. We take the panel off and we just use the hip seat. So if, um, and again, obviously I have a toddler, but if I'm cooking and Alden wants to be up and down and up and down, um, I just slide it over to my hip. Uh, I can cook. Um, if I'm, you know, mixing something and he wants to see, I can just get him quick up, quick down. Um, obviously I can, I usually wear him on this side cause I'm right-handed. Um, I can hold him with one hand. He can watch what I'm doing. I can stir with my other hand. Everyone's happy. Um, something of note that might help somebody is if you can see, I can move this around front, back, side. Um, that's how tight I do have it. So if that helps anybody at all to say like, Hey, how tight should I be wearing this? I do wear it, I guess, tight enough to be comfortable, but loose enough to where I can move it around my body to easily uh, switch from hip seat to back carry to front carry, um, and we're comfortable in all positions. So again, get comfortable with just the seat by itself. Maybe even the first day, um, if the seat me is feeling a little bit intimidating to you, just practice with just the hip seat. Um, you know, if you're dusting or vacuuming, pop baby up if they're an independent sitter. Um, let them sit on the seat and just kind of get comfy and used to it and do your thing. Um, at the park, I like to wear it because if we walk from the car to the park, I just pop him up on the hip seat. Um, so get comfy with just kind of the hip seat and then go from there. Next, you are going to, of course, want to get cozy with your panel. Um, obviously baby Lisa here is a little bit small, but bear with me. Um, so assuming your kiddo is big enough, hi, I'm a six month child and I'm forward facing. Um, get them in the carrier. And I mean, it doesn't matter if my panel's up essentially, uh, my hips are taking all the weight. Um, there is literally no weight at all on my shoulders because my hips have all of it. That's why it's really important, I think, to get comfy with just your hip seat on. Um, this should not pull on your back. It should not pull on your shoulders. And something that's really interesting to think about with the panel that's very different from the complete is your baby's bottom is eating this panel. They are sitting on it. Um, whether they are further or back on the carrier or further in, makes a different difference in the way the panel is going to fold around their bottom because obviously it's using more or less fabric. So again, if they are sitting independently really well, don't be afraid to give them a scoop back on that seat to allow the baby's bum to eat more panel. So I say that a lot, let baby's bum eat more panel. Um, let them sit on more of the panel so that um, they have kind of a little bit more room in that seat, which is can be really nice for both uh, wearer and baby. Um, so you're gonna wanna pop your straps up. Obviously, again, these are really nice and loose. Um, they're really, really easy to make tighter. But as you can see, I still need them loose enough to give my panel room for baby. Um, if these are too tight, Okay. If you um, are kind of under the assumption that it should fit like a complete, baby is going to be so smushed up on you um, and absolutely nobody is going to be comfortable. So again, give yourself some nice, good slack on that panel. Do not be scared of it. Um, let me clip my back strap. The back strap on this is also very easy to clip if it's nice and loose. So um, don't be scared to have that panel loose. Okay, obviously this is a little bit harder with a demo doll, um, but you can see baby and I have a little bit of distance between us. Um, obviously toddler and you is gonna be even better, but don't be afraid to loosen those up. Like I said, these are all the way tight on me on a complete, and um, this is good slack. Um, baby is in there, I can use these middle sliders. Um, if you have a huge kiddo, move them to the middle, give them all the leg room they want. 
Um, when they're little or smaller like this, um, go ahead and slide them over and give them a little bit of a tighten up. Um, get that panel to be nice and snug and these to be nice and snug around them um, for a little bit of extra support here. So obviously this is all seasons as well. Give yourself a little room to be nice and cool. Uh, it snaps in just like normal. So um, enjoy, enjoy the fact that baby can sit back on the seat and not be right on top of you. Uh, we live in Phoenix and it's such a game changer for us to not be sweating so much. Um, so yeah, get baby comfy. Um, moving from front seat or from front carry to back carry, what I like to do is just keep my hand on baby, uh, swing baby over my hip into a hip carry. Grab both of your straps around baby's chest. This is easier with older kids, I will not lie. But um, get baby's straps around their chest so that you're holding them nice and snug. They're on that seat. You have them supported in here with your hand and the straps. Move them, give a little bounce, almost on uh, kind of three quarters on your back, as far as you can kind of reach with one arm. Slip your arm through the strap. These are really loose. Uh, hold baby. Grab your other strap. Clip your chest clip. And you can see baby's only kind of on my back. Um, then give one more bounce and all the way on your back. Um, and then tighten as needed. Obviously the chest uh, clip off still too is um, on a slider, higher or lower, so you're not choking. Um, and babies as small as six months uh, can fit on the seat knee in a back carry because of that hard structured seat. Um, as a reminder, they need to be four months before you pop that seat in. Uh, babies newborn to four months can still be worn in this carrier. You just unzip the uh, hard seat and wear it as a normal soft structured carrier. So um, really versatile, uh, really easy to get him off. I unbuckle, put a hand on him. Obviously my kids are also bigger. Uh, do two straps, grab him, and I like to twist just around to hip and get him up or down. Um, so. Those are the basics of the seat knee. Biggest takeaways are get comfy with the hip seat only and do not be afraid to loosen these straps. Um, I guess I can take this out as well and kind of show you what comes in this little bag. Um, you're gonna have your hood. You do have your hood like any normal uh, little baby complete. And you do have this wide strap extender which really, really easily um, buttons and snaps on. It's so simple. You literally put it on these buttons, which is really quick to do. So we're gonna button it. We are going to snap it. Let's see if I can do this by feel. Oops. And that's it. Um, your toddlers, big old toddler butts, now have uh, an extra, I mean, my kid is two and a half, 31 pounds, 36 inches in the 90th percentile, and he's almost knee to knee in coverage with this seat knee. The padding is unreal. It's super soft, super cozy on both the narrow and wide seat, but this gives you some major coverage. Um, from a femur length perspective. Um, if you do have itty bitty tiny babies, it also allows you to wear them in that scrunched up fetal position, obviously with the hip seat taken out. Um, again, to take that hip seat out is really simple. It literally pops out and that's it. Um, zip that pocket back up, put those sliders in there wherever you feel like you need to and tighten them nice and tight and it's just a normal soft structured carrier um, that can be worn in fetal position with this wide seat extender. So um, 
The wide seat extender is amazing. This was such a thoughtful update. Um, I absolutely love it. This padding on top as well is a little bit different in this new version. It's like this, it feels like the Lola Baby Suck pads. It's this gorgeous soft cotton, really nice and nice and soft. So lots of padding on this carrier. Um, the wide seat extender, as you can see, is, is makes a big difference. Um, something else that I was concerned about with this carrier, just to be really honest, I love the version, um, the old version, because it didn't have any of those seat settings. Um, I could switch front facing to back to whatever position without even thinking about it. You can unbutton this, so unbutton it, leave it snapped, and get that, that narrow seat back. So when we're at the zoo, if he wants to back carry, but then he wants to be forward facing, um, I truly just leave it snapped and just put him back in that narrow seat to face forward um, without having to fuss or take parts off. I also lose everything. So um, I love being able to just leave it on it so I don't lose it. Um, so yeah, those are some tips, tricks, troubleshooting with the seat me. I hope this helps somebody. Um, and snag on, they're so limited in quantity. So if you can grab one of these, grab them before they're gone. They're already gone off Little Baby's website. So they are available on Amazon. All right, I hope this helps somebody. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'm always happy to answer them. And you are of course, always welcome to tag me in Lily Love and I'm so welcome to help. So hope everyone's having a good day, bye.